Dear ones, the correct answer for you today may not be tomorrow or the day after. You will evolve a bit before you establish sites or the right actions for yourself. The concepts you are forming now are more similar to the beliefs of a young teen than of a 3D adult. Most often, a teen senses actions or words as either right or wrong with very few gray areas. But this is a time of many gray areas, confusing you and others trying to clarify beliefs. Perhaps you are part of a political party but are close friends with someone from a different political party. Even though most of what they relay to you is correct and acceptable, there are places neither of you discuss, for their opinions are so different than yours. If you want to maintain contact with that individual, you close off some of your beliefs when you interact with them. If you do not close off some thoughts, you will not accept any of their beliefs despite both of you trying to avoid specific topics. But now, you are beginning to select friends based on their frequency instead of beliefs. If your friendship was based on their ideas, you would never be able to interact with them despite not discussing specific topics. Their beliefs would resemble painting a big stop sign on their forehead. Instead, you allow a slow sign to be acceptable. You are maturing into your new being not all at once, but slowly in your thought processes and rapidly in ours. Instead of basing your interactions on concepts, you are beginning to select friendships and interactions because of similar frequencies a system you have never before utilized while of the earth. Some of you declare that romantic love is frequency based, which is valid to a certain extent at first. But as the relationship develops, those little inconsistencies that do not agree with your inner thoughts are often the cause of the relationship ending, no matter how attracted you once felt. Although there are differences, the frequencies between you and those you enjoy interacting with now are so similar that the differences do not matter. That is not to say you will endure a relationship that is not right for you because of specific aspects, but that the differences you discover are not that important to either of you. These new relationship interactions are different from your 3D actions in many ways. Most importantly, you feel comfortable with a certain being no matter what they verbalize or adhere to when you are not there. You allow differences because their overall being flows with yours. Perhaps not forever, but for now, you are exploring that relationship in joy despite this or that belief. You are all on unique paths, some of which are parallel to yours and others perpendicular. Those on parallel paths are becoming increasingly acceptable to you. Those on perpendicular paths are still too out there for you. Even though you will someday soon, you cannot yet find commonalities with those on a perpendicular path to yours. Perhaps an analogy would be befriending someone in college who selected a different major than you. Despite that difference, they are an essential part of your life. But once you graduate, you seldom interact with them. That friend with different majors is not terrible. They are merely so different interest-wise that you have little in common. You are finding new interests and friends because their frequencies are more similar to yours than not. As you mature, differences will become enjoyable because you will allow more gray interest areas into your being. And so it is. Amen.